Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Luke Bryan called Buzzkill. And to play along with the recording, what you want to do is retune your guitar down a half step. So he's actually tuning his guitar E flat, B flat, G flat, D flat, A flat, E flat. But we're going to actually do this lesson in standard tuning. And it starts on the intro in a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go D string on the second fret. And third finger is going to go A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then for C major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go low E on the third fret. And the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from G major for the intro, we're going to be going to a D major chord. And when we play D major, First finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. The second finger is going to go to the high or the skinny on the second fret. And the third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, just the skinny fourth string, that'll get you your clear sound out of that chord. And that's called D major. It sounds really, really happy. So our intro is kind of going from C major to G major to a D major, C major. And then when we get to our verses, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. And when you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, then that makes an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from E minor in the verses, we're going to be going to a C major. And then we're going to go to a D major. And then a G major. And then C major. G major. D major, and then we're just going to kind of repeat that. So we got E minor, C major, D major, G major, C major, G major, D major, and then for our choruses, we're, we're going to be mixing up a lot of those same chords. We got C major, G major, D major. E minor, C major, G major, D major, C major, G major, D major, E minor. But then we're going to be going to an A minor chord. And when we play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to back to the E minor. And then we kind of end up on a C major chord. And then our intro is going to be coming back. So those are basically our progressions and our strum patterns through, through most of the tune. But a lot of times to make a song like this a little bit more interesting, what I like to do is I'll add a strum pattern to it. And actually what, what I think really, really works really well with, the, with this is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what a 16th note is, is, is where you, you take the, the, the beat, where your foot is, and you're dividing it into four parts. So you're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And what I think really matches the tune really well is a really long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up strum pattern. But it's relating to a 16th note. So just to walk through all the little parts of that, if we took the C chord we're starting on, and we just did a long down and kind of counted four, that's what we're doing on the first beat. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. But then on the second beat, we're doing a down on one, and a down on three, and an up on four. So we're going down, down, up, 1, 2, 3, 4, down, down, up. We're going to be doing an up on two and a down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And on the fourth beat, we're doing a down, up, down, up, right along with our one, two, three, four. So we'll be going down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we put all those together. And we've got a long down, 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 up.
song where we're going to be half in that strum pattern and just doing the long down, down, down of all different chords. So actually, like in our intro, we're going to be doing that from the C to the G. So we may just want to try that by itself where we got the long down, 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 down up, G with the long down, down, down up, C with the long down, 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 G with the long down, down, down up. But then we're going to be going to our D chord with our whole strum pattern. So we'd have the D down. Try that again. We got, we got our C down, 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 G down, 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 D down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 Now over that intro lick too, there's a really cool gu gu guitar part in, in the background, the lead part. And to play that part, we're, we're going to be playing fifth fret on the G string and then going 3rd fret on the B string, and then 3rd fret on the high E string. And then we're going to be going 4th fret on the G string, and then 3rd fret on the B string, and then 3rd fret on the high E. But then we go open D, and then 2nd fret on the G, and then 3rd fret on the B, and then 5th fret on the high E. So we got 5, 3, 3, 4, 3, 3, O, oh, 2, 3, 5, 5, three, a cool way to kick off the tune too but then when we get to our verses we're going to be doing more of the halving halving the strum pattern so for our verses you got the e minor with the long down 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 c long down 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 do the long down 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 to the long down 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 c the long down 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 to the long down 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 we got the deep with the bottom down 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 up up down 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 up down to the down 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 c down 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 to the same kind of things where we're halfing a lot of the chords. We got C with the long down, 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 G long down, 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 G down, 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 G minor down, 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 C down, 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 G down, 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 G down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, C down, 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 G down, 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 G down, 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 G minor down, 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 G minor down, 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 G minor down. intro we got the two down 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 two down mixing up things. So we're going to do the whole strum pattern on the A minor. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. But then we're going to half a E minor to D. So we got E minor, down, down, D, down, 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 up. But then we do the whole 
from Harold A. Minor again. And then there's kind of a hit on C where we're going to go down, up, up, down. So we go to C with down, up, up, down. So just to try that through that whole bridge again, you got A minor down, 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 up. Going back to our intro part again, where we have the C, down, down, G, down, 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 G, down, 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 up, down, 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 idea again where we got down, up, up, down. And then the outro at the very, very end is, is kind of the chorus tag or the intro again where we got C. Down, down, G, down. So that's the basics of how you can play Buzzkill by Luke Bryan. Remember to tune your guitar down a half step. So, good luck! <laughs>